Hello and welcome to this review of Vidboard AI. Vidboard AI is yet another AI avatar service that allows you to create videos just using text. The thing about Vidboard AI is it is more presentation based. And you're going to see what I mean by that in a moment. I paid $49 for a lifetime deal through Pitchground and I'll put a link to that deal in the video description. Now, if you wanted to pay monthly, it costs from $15 per month. But what you get here, you get in the lifetime deal. So the lifetime deal is much, much better value. So you can see here there are some templates and you can start working on those templates. So I've gone in to create a presentation and that's given me a blank screen. Now, if I go up here to templates, I can pick one of the templates and it will pre-populate it with the template or I can make and save my own template. So whatever I do here, if I click save as template, it's gonna end up in the user templates. Now, really, we want to know about avatars. So there are some good and bad things about Vidboard. First of all, you can make your own avatar. You can make your own custom avatar, and that can be an avatar of you. Or you can use one of the predefined ones that Vidboard have already made. So let's use this chap. Now we can go and pick from a limited number of colors in the background. I'm gonna pick black. Now, if I click on this avatar, I can move him around or move them around, but I can't resize them. And that is a definite disadvantage. They're always gonna be small and in a circle. That's all you can do with them. That's quite disappointing. So if we go here to script, we can enter a script and it's gonna be, so I've typed my script out. Now I'm going to pick a language. It's gonna be English United Kingdom. And then from there I pick an avatar. I've only got four, four male avatars. That's not a huge amount. And then I play the script. Hello, I'm Big G Video and I make videos about making videos. Now I can convert and translate the script if I want to. I'm not going to. I can change the speaking speed and pitch. And I can have a style, which is quite nice. And some may call this emotions in TTS world, but I'm gonna go for cheerful. And I can put in breaks, although I can't with cheerful. So I'm just going to um, play the script again. Hello, I'm Big G Video, and I make videos about making videos. See, already much more cheerful. Now, if we go to background, we can find images from Unsplash, or pixels, or we can add our own custom image, or we can go for a color. So I'm I'm all about video editing, so I quite like Unsplash, and I want to go for video editing, so I can search for that. And this one looks a great one. So if I click that, it loads it as my background. Now I can't do anything fancy like flipping it, that's that. If I go to images, then I can add an image again from Unsplash, Pexels or my own images. If I click on this image, I can resize it. I can say how it enters. I can change its opacity and I can go up here to delete it. I can add text and we've got some styles here that aren't that good, but I can add text here. Um, and I can change its color and its size and all manner of other things as you would expect. I can add assets like shapes, lines, arrows, icons and infographics, which is really good. And again, when we add them, we can pick how they enter the screen. So we can have it sliding in left. I can add music, so let's just add some general music. And I can also add videos to the background. So I'm gonna go into this second slide of what looks like Martin Lewis. I'm gonna go down to video. I'm gonna pick this background video, put him in the middle and give him a script because if it doesn't have a script, it won't generate the video. And I'm just going to pick an American voice. Saying goodbye. Now, one thing we can do is we can change the transition between slides. So let's go for a zoom fade. And we can add a cover as well. 
Now the cover is a strange thing. I see the appeal of it. We've got five templated covers here. If I click on this, we can type in some text and it's going to be now I was going to put channel trailer, but annoyingly, I always seem to run out of text and characters when I try and do this. So we can add music to the cover or we can just generate the cover. So the cover is in itself a video. So we just generate that. So now we've generated our cover video. And that's it. So we add the cover video. It's good that we can edit the cover video and I'm going to come to editing a bit later so we can just keep adding slides. I think there is a maximum amount of slides we can go to and there's you can use three images per slide. So that's now saved. And again, as I said before, we could save this as a template. So I'm going to save it as a template. And if I go to templates and we go to user templates, then everything goes white and it doesn't quite work. And you can see because I went to access my templates, I encountered a bug and I seem to have lost all my work. Let's go back and see if I can access that work again. So I'm back in the home screen and it seems that I can't access my work. If I go to my templates, I've got my YouTube demo. Thank God I've still got my video and I don't have to go back to it. We seem to have lost the cover video because this seems to just be the template stuff and the script isn't filled in. So, so down here I can see we've got lots of emotions, which is really good. Hello people. I'm Big G Video and I make videos about making videos. By the way, I'm terrified. So I've gone back and I've just put some text in so that I can generate the video. It's slightly different to what I did before, but there we are. So I'm going to generate the video. And again, it, it hasn't saved my text. So I'm going to confirm everything and I'm going to click generate video. OK, so it's going through and it's generating the video. Possibly it was user error and I didn't click on those two confirm buttons before. OK, so my video is in a queue. It's position 10 and it'll be ready for me at some point and I will be emailed when it's ready. So I'm going to go to my videos because there's something I want to talk about while my video is being created. So this is a video I made earlier. Here we can see we've got the cover. Fantastic. Hello, I'm Big G Video and I make YouTube videos all about making videos. I focus on software for video creation, filming gear and tutorials. Hope you enjoy my channel and feel free to leave me a comment. Now, I don't know who this guy is, but I didn't put him in when I made this video. Now, there's a huge gaping error. I can go down here and I can um, copy the link and I can share this to people, but I cannot go and edit the video once it's made. I can download it. I can play it back at different speeds, but I can't download the video once it's made. And if I find that there's an error, which sometimes I do find, and in this case, it isn't my fault, but in some cases it is, I just have to start again. And that is infuriating. I'm Big G Video and I make videos about making videos. By the way, I'm terrified. Hello, people. So what is Vidboard AI and is it any good? Well, it seems to be more of a presentation based software than anything I've ever seen in the AI avatar space. You get a small little head and it's talking. One of the benefits of that is that you can upload your own picture and that can be animated to talk to the script that you put in and the voice. I'm not sure that the animations I've seen have been brilliant. They don't seem the most realistic compared to other services and they're small and you can't resize them. If you are only going to go and stick the avatar in a circle in the corner anyway, then this is quite good. It has quite good integrations and it has a lot of features. It does seem buggy, but it is a very new piece of software. I hope they work out these bugs. There's plenty of templates. I think a really good option would be if you could upload your PowerPoints, that would be an excellent way to use this software. 